What do I, man? Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the bottom line, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, he is going to be doing a live webinar. And you can get into this webinar very easy. It's going to be uh, a week from yesterday, August 10th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. As you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see it right under the featured content. You just hit that live webinar. Uh, the webinar, folks, is $295. What you get for that, of course, is you're going to get some great education um, of five hours flat out with Basil. If you can't make it personally that from 9 o'clock till 2 in the afternoon, it's archived. That's only the beginning, though, because you get his whole newsletter the whole month, plus he has approximately 11 other archives on this, so you're going to understand how to ride that wave each and every day. So check it out on the front page of TFNN, right under featured content. Basil Chapman, what's going on? What's going on is that this market is bumping into resistance, and we're going to see how it deals with it. And the, the webinar actually is really nicely timed in the sense that I think by midweek next week, we're going to get a really good sense of whether the market needs another breather, meaning a five to seven day uh, hiatus where it just kind of digests all these gains, or whether it's able to break out. But you know, in the Chapman Wave methodology, I'll just show this right now because it's exactly what we'll be doing. Okay. We look for the, I try to identify the lowest low bar that can start off a move to the upside. There are various techniques that we use for that. And then we just merely count each successively higher peak. It can go all the way from A to B, C, D, E, F, and even G. But it's really the objective in the Chapman Wave, and this is what we practice all the time. I've been doing it in all of my shows. I've been doing it on the one-minute chart, but this pertains to monthly charts, weekly charts. It doesn't really matter. The principle is the same that when you have accelerated to the fourth highest peak, peak D, other things can happen. Well, what did we see right here? We've been along the, the Dow for since the low of, the, of uh, the 17th of June. We've been buying the diamonds. And right now, the Dow is, has made that fourth highest peak, peak D. And I talk about just a few candles. Some of them are my own invention called the ones, the Roman candle, Chapman Wave Roman candle. There are others as well. But the doji candle at a D or at a bottom like it was right here in this trough on the 17th of June, for me, are really important signs to say that maybe – the buying or the selling is dissipated and now you get a reversal of trend or it means it's a continuation pattern. So what's happened is right here on this daily chart, that's a daily on the left, uh, weekly in the middle, monthly on the right. We've stopped at that doji and this is the third session since then. And look, it hasn't been able to break above. There's a, a particular moving average I talk about a lot. When it comes into focus, I don't never need it when it's not there. But that's the 200-period moving average, so the whole area of 13,100s on the Dow. That's going to be very important to break. So I talk about how you can include. You can have the naked chart. Let me just see if I can get that right now. There's a naked chart. And then I, I talk about adding various things. So I'll show this right here. You can see on the left, there's this is one chart. And it's got very little on it. I've added some things just as demonstrations. And then I've added the MACD, and then I've added the stochastic, and then the 9-period and 14-period moving averages. And I go right through to this last one. And once you can see that from the bear chart, and we'll be looking at patterns that repeat just basically three patterns straight up, straight down, or the arch or the cup formation, you can start building your, your, your thesis for your um, – for your trading right. based on just those patterns. So um, most importantly, in the work that we've done for my subscribers, we have a couple of positions that have got 30 and 40% gains since the low. We've uh, taken a little bit of a loss in some, but mostly the gains are really outweighed the, uh, the gains. And it's just using these particular techniques and I'll show subscribers to my opening call and of course any attendees will get a month free of my opening call. But they'll also get the webinar. So what I've done, and this has taken me a little time over this week, I've tried to refine it so that I'm, I've now got the rules of the Chapman Wave. I've just codified it to just 
a couple of pages, just a heading and then a description so that you don't have to go through this whole litany of stuff because I've tried to refine it to the point where it's visually easy to see, it's very descriptive, and we'll just go straight into to the patterns. And um, I, I'll just show you, this is the, the, the daily pattern. I was discussing this earlier on. I showed this cup formation right here. This is the one-minute E-mini PD, doji candle on the top. Pulls back, comes around again, starts another move, and I've drawn this. What is this? This is the one at one, one o'clock. This is after my show. But the pattern's been the same. Equal number of bars on the left to the number of bars on the right that gets to resistance. It's, it's the same on the downside, the upside, and especially when you're in a rectangle formation, you can la it lasts a lot longer than your patience. So I'll be teaching about how if you can identify a rectangle formation, it's a it's a very um, it's it's good to step back from that because all that's going to happen is it goes to the top of the range and then it pulls back and then it goes to the top of the range. But is that, that a one show. day that I'm looking at right now or a two day? This right now it's a one minute chart. That's, oh, I got it. It's a one minute e, from today. Okay, cool. I got it's, it. It's okay. today. It's an e mini one minute chart. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very. This is current right now. It went to a PE. Right. Now it's pulling back. Right. But look, I'd already drawn in the pattern of the matching time yeah. frames. And what's so fascinating? Look, I'm going to jump to this. You can't really tell the difference between a one minute uh, and a and a, a daily. The charts. They go up and they go down. They do exactly the same things because it's just a fractal of human nature. Sure. So I've tried to make it as well-defined as possible. We'll start off with a blank chart. We'll start adding a little notation. And we'll, we'll go. And the whole idea here is to how do I enter? Where do I enter? How, where would I add to the position? Where would I start taking off? For instance, we've got three times long positions in some of the ETFs. These are these are trading vehicles. So even though we got almost the bottom, I'm still taking a little bit off because when they start going sideways, they will shrink very quickly. So you've got to know how and what you're trading. I did. As uh, someone asked me this morning, would I look at the Apple chart? Well, I looked at the Apple chart and I did a one-minute chart, and it did. There was no. I don't know if I've still got it. I'll show it right now. Yes, there it is. There's the Apple chart. It was during my show, and I said it's making a beautiful. There it is, a beautiful cup formation. This is a one-minute chart. Goes to a peak E, starts pulling back, and then it goes in the same number of bars. It goes to the resistance at the 200-period exponential moving average, and you can see that 200-period moving average was resistance all the way until about one o'clock. Then it pulled back, and then what did it do? It made another big arch formation, and turned, so you could do it with any position that you want. It's the same principle, and I was so pleased that she asked about the uh, Apple charts. I said, "Yes, the one-minute chart. It's the same. He has the same pattern. So it's an education, and you can use the uh, v videos. The uh, you can the archive is there. So if you can, you miss the day, you can go over it. Even when you're there, you'll be able to later on just go over it as many times as you want. Yeah, it's and folks, exciting. it's a great education. And when Basil shows you his magic nine period. You know, line, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> You're going to love it. Come over to our website at TFNN. It's right under featured content. You hit that sus subscribe button. Bottom line, you're going to be in this workshop next week. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you very much. You Thank you. Talk. Stay right there, folks. If you